Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Just saw this quick problem on Reddit where uh, someone couldn't get an, an even pitch uh, running a helix around a spiral. So you can see what the problem is here. So uneven pitch. So I've had a quick squiz at this and figured out uh, what the main problem is with uh, with the SolidWorks curves. So I've created a spiral just with some nominal values and then I've created a sketch uh, of that spiral just because I prefer referencing the sketch rather than a projected curve or a spiral. So that's my master input and then I've created a plane on the end of that and a section that's for our, our helix. So if you go into surface sweep and pick the sketch profile and the path and then Specify your twist value, so let's say 50 revolutions. You can see what's happening, which is the same as what the Reddit user was having, is it's bunching up at the beginning of the curve here, and then the pitch is like variable. So there seems to be some sort of parameterization issue with that curve. As far as I can tell, it's not dividing it equally. So I waited, I've also checked that by getting this the helix and inserting surface extrude 20 millimeters i was thinking i'd be able to use face curves or something to um set this up but that didn't work but it did illustrate what i think the issue is so if you go sketch tools face curves and then pick a face and then if you pick that direction there and we'll make 20 of them actually let's make more so you can see there the face curves it's using the mesh uh, so it's, it must be using the, the, the parameterization of the surface and as you can see the spacing gets uh, bigger as it goes towards the outside of the spiral so that's no good and obviously the sweeps using the same um, parameterization of the curve to to set the rotations distance between rotation and even um, using position 50% is actually in the wrong spot uh, I found out so we go 50% there and then if we go reference point and pick this edge here and go 50% that gives me a different a point in a different place so what we want is true 50% distance along the along the curve rather than using the UV or the or the parameterization of that curve. So after much mucking around I had a look at someone mentioned trying using deform. So you make your, your helix straight and then deform it into the spiral. That didn't work. It was just distorting things too much. So the workaround I found was to so I've got my master helix here. I'll just hide that. You go in and create another sketch. So in this case, I'll just delete this. Um, so we'll pick that the helix converted, and then convert entities, and then you select that, and you go up to Tools, Sketch Tools, and the Segment Tool. Okay, so let's say we want 50 revolutions. So we type in 50 here, and then we want Sketch Segments. So we'll have 50 segments, so that equals the amount of revolutions we want in the in the helix, and go OK. And what that does is it actually takes that, turn our relations off, it takes that um, input or converted entity, my master helix here, and splits it into 50 entities of equal length. So if we pick one, go measure, it's 47.2. And we'll pick one on the outside, 47.2. So those are all equal, true, equal lengths. Okay, so if we then use that to create the sweep, instead you get this. So that's much more even. Uh, and if you look at the the sketch segments, so the path for that, you can see there, that's like the pitch there. Okay, and we know those are equal distant. So you just got to make sure the sweep matches the amount of segments. Uh, it seems to work. I've also tried making that sketch like thinking maybe you can just divide it into 10 bits or something like that 
but that doesn't really work because I've tried here with 25 segments and there's some variation so you can see there there's some variation in the pitch so it makes sense to match the amount of segments in the path to how many revolutions you want and then once you've once you've made this sweep here then you can just create the filament or whatever by going insert surface sweep circular profile and pick the outside edge and then whatever diameter you want and hide that and turn the sketches off okay so if you wanted to make that to a hundred then it is a bit of double handling because you actually have to go back in and edit this sketch here um, so because you can't just interactively change the amount of segments as you can see if I select something so you have to delete that pick the master helix again convert entities pick it tools sketch tools segment and then type in 100 and that will split it out and then go OK OK so that's now got 100 segments so we'd have to update our master sweep so you go in here you can't seem to link this value here with variables so you have to do it manually OK 100 there and then there so 100 revolutions uh, I did try and automate this so you didn't have to go in and change if you want to if you want to change around with the revolutions without having to redo the segments uh, the way I tried to do that was by extruding the main um, surface first and then created a tool body which is a solid as you can see there and then created a, a tool which is like a triangle to which I'm going to pattern around to split the surface so I've got a pattern around curve there so you can see there this is you can change the amount here and rebuild and then that would split or actually to split things we have to d turn our tool body here into a surface so I've deleted the back face which turns this into a surface body which means you can then do a split line uh, on that whole like ribbon surface there in one hit so that gives us all our segments and these are all equidistant uh, equal length sorry but then uh, it falls over because I have to try and create a sketch for the path for the sweep and that doesn't update it updates if you have a smaller number of segments and you make it larger but it doesn't go the other way so um, that yeah you might as well just end up doing it manually up here so there we go I'll just whack this file in the description of the video if anybody's got any better ideas better ways to do this then sounds like a bit of a challenge interested to hear cheers Andrew Jackson AJ Design Studio see ya